What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing part 4 of Goat Roped, part 4 out of 10, which is complete all Halo Combat Evolved anniversary campaign missions in 3 hours or less in the Master Chief Collection on Legendary. So this is level 4 out of 10, the Silent Cartographer, you start it up. There's this iconic beach battle, which you're totally ignoring to the right. You want to just turn to the left and run this way to start it off. And we're just going to hoof it this way for a good 30 seconds or so. And we're going to come across a overturned Warthog, and we're going to grab that. And we're going to make our way into the actual silent cartographer, the map room, right away. We're not going to deal with that security override nonsense. And you'll see what we do with the Warthog. You may have already seen the trick, maybe not, maybe this is new to you. I'll uh, I'll give you the lowdown. So we're running over here. I do have the Grunt Funeral and Boom Skulls still on from the previous two missions that I enjoyed the luxury of their company with. But they're not as beneficial in this level, because it's mostly just running and skipping things. But it's a, it's a little bit helpful at the end. But... Grab the Warthog. You can throw a grenade to have it flip so it's ready for you in, in driving position to go this way. But that's too complicated. For our purposes, we just need to get at least part-time, which is 15 minutes for this level. So drive this way. Drive up and into the structure here. And you want to whip your tail this way and then whip it around this way. And just drive straight in. And we still got full health. And a little bit of shield, which is nice. So this is the big trick for this level. Not uh, running into the edge there, but just go down here. Take a left, and we're going to bail out of the Warthog. Drive straight at the door, and then whip it into the corner, like so. And bail in the process of that. And I'll do it in slow motion here again. I'll show you what I did. Drive straight at the door, and then whip it into the corner, and bail at the same time. And you will... If you get the timing down perfectly get through that door that's supposed to lock. So that skips a huge section of the mission, and this is just doing it again. Full speed. This upcoming drop, just line up your targeting reticle, the top of it with the top corner, top left corner, and then move it to the left so the right side of your targeting reticle is still touching the edge of that lip, and then just fall down onto it, and you'll slide right down. And make sure you're zoomed in when you're lining all that up. This, just drop down onto this overshield so you grab it. You get a checkpoint right before that, so if you die falling down, no problem. Your checkpoint is right there, up top, above the overshield. Activate the map room. Skip the cutscene. Go over here, and we're basically done with this level now. We just got to escape. Assassinate that elite. These grunts will probably be startled by you. So you can just run by all of them. And you know how I was, well, maybe you don't. Maybe this is your first video you've seen me, but I mentioned in the previous three guides for this achievement that there is just a total mental breakdown that I have for each level. And this is about to happen for this level. You want a grenade jump? I threw those two plasma grenades up there to thin out the jackals that are up there. But there's actually some active camo right behind me that I did not get, and I want to get, and I will get it in a second when I realize that I'm a freaking idiot. You could actually, I'm trying to fight these jackals right now, but you don't even have to. You could just grab the active camo. And you can see I'm running, and I'm starting to run up to escape the level, and I turn around right here, because uh, I realize I forgot the camo, and I'm stupid. And that's all there is to it. So I run back here. You should have done this first, just you know, throw those two plasmas up here to kill the jackals who are in this room. Grenade jump up with a frag grenade, grab that camo, and you just run by everybody. So there's no need to fight those jackals like I did. Lost some time there. Very annoying. I also died a couple times on this escape uh, due to the boom skull being on. I underestimated the grenades, so it kind of was a disadvantage for me because I wasn't really taking them into account. But don't do that yourself. So you can see my time uh, increased shortly after picking up that camo about like two or three minutes just because I had died a couple times. Stupid. Stupid silver. But anyway, just go follow this path. You'll probably want to assassinate this elite while you can because your invisibility runs out right about now. So that way you could throw a grenade up there to kill the jackals and 
That elite won't be right behind you shooting you. Throw that grenade if you need to. Uh, the grunts probably won't follow you, but just in case they did, I had that grenade there for them. And this is just clearing out this section. So I forget what the world record is for this level, but it's like three minutes or something crazy fast. Three or four minutes. I don't know. Don't yell at me if it, I'm wrong. It, that's It's close. It's about like three minutes. Something ridiculous. But we're just clearing out this room. Again, the grunts will explode due to the grunt funeral skull being on. So that helps in this room. This is really the only room that it kind of helps out in. You can kill those elites that are over there by those jackals or the grunts blowing up. Even though you killed the golden elite when you uh, went through that doorway, which you weren't supposed to, there was a glitch that we pulled off, the golden elite will still be there. Kind of weird. Don't know why it happens, but just have a... Normally I just stick them with a plasma grenade, but I didn't have any available. So I just noob combo and threw a frag grenade at him that didn't kill him but another overcharged plasma burst did so grab your warthog turn to the right to go up the ramp and we're just going to go all the way back out there's still enemies alive up here from when you skip them by just driving in here with your warthog but they actually die when you get to about here you can see they just fell over but what will spawn are a bunch of stealth elites. So some active camouflage elites coming out of that spirit that we're under right now. And you don't want to do this, what I'm doing. You want to just drive your warthog straight out. And grab this overshield over here, because you got plenty of time before your pelican arrives to pick you up. And that way you just got some extra insurance. There's your pelican. Extra coverage for getting shot. This was very sloppy, this entrance onto this pelican. You want to get in on the other side of the pelican because it cuts off the angle of them shooting at you, and there's less of a chance that you will die if you're on the other side of the pelican. So, but that's it. That's a very quick level if you pull it off. Again, the par score, or par time rather, is 15 minutes for this level, so anything under 15 minutes will get you the achievement or work towards getting you this achievement. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Here's my score, or time, or both. Click like and subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you for Assault on the Control Room, which we have a similarly game-breaking glitch that will allow us to achieve the par time in no time. See you for that one.